Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs of SCPM, Strategic Cost and Performance Management. I am Sia Nujalota. We are trying to be doing every possible question that is there under SCPM. And this is a channel that has been created only for this purpose to ensure that everything that is possible under this subject is given back to the students. I just hope that every student who are watching all these videos, they try to enjoy these lectures because we try to take all the practical examples and try to blend them in our lectures. My aim, obviously one small aim is that you all uh, clear in exams. But then the other thing is you should know the intrigues of the business. Okay, you should know like, you know, small, small things, what is happening in the business? What are the emerging new things that every person should be knowing who's going to be doing business in future, you know? As we often say, India is a land of employers, okay? So, you know, you should try to become a businessman instead of being an employee. That goes a long way in trying to, like, you know, make your life quite comfortable. You can try to have your own work schedules. You'll get the returns for the risks and for the efforts that you all take. So, I'll start it off with today's video. Just before I start, just two things like always. You want to enroll for my complete course, see the link in the description. And uh, second thing is that uh, join my Telegram channel and the group for the regular updates over here. Okay, for this subject. Let's start it off for today. So, Unigel pens entered into hyper competition market. Pen, in any case, is quite a competitive market. We all know that. Uh, of ball and gel pens. The strategic focus of uni gel pen should be on dash of dash advantages. Okay, you have to do two fill in the blanks. Uh, okay, get me the four options, please. One shot of windfall advantage. Okay. Continuity of sustainable advantages. Okay. Perfect mix of short term and long term advantages. Okay. And then series of short term advantages. Okay. Now, first of all, you should be knowing like, you know, that what do you mean by uh, hyper competition? Now, hyper competition is a scenario whereby lot amount of competition is there in the market. Every competitor, every competitor is trying like, you know, to come out with something new for some time. Let's take the example exactly of pens only. Try to be thinking like, you know, there are so many companies who are there in the ball pens. So many companies. You have Camlin, you have Luxur, you have Reynolds. Okay, there are so many companies. Now, you are also an entrant in that. Okay, you have also entered this market. Okay. Now, there is so much amount of competition. You'll have to keep on introducing something new each and every time. Example, the ads that I remember. 5 kilometers likhne wala pen. Okay, there was one ad like this. Okay, now once you do that, you'll be getting some advantage. But then, you know, this advantage will be matched by the competitor super fast because it is a hyper competitive market. So then what to do? Then try to come out with something new. Example, weird thing that I can try to be thinking of, I will try to introduce a pen which has an eraser which can draw whatever my pen has written. Okay, that could be a great thing. It's like an undo feature on your computer. Yaar. If you can be doing that because ball pens have obviously one kind of a disadvantage. If you write something, it cannot be erased. So therefore, can you come out with some kind of a feature? But even if you come out with such kind of an advantage, this is not a permanent advantage. Competitors will match this particular thing super, super, super fast. So what I'm trying to tell you is that this is a market whereby the advantage is only temporary and you have to keep on coming out with the new things every now and then, every now and then in order to be surviving. So it cannot be one great advantage that you have forever in your life. No, it cannot be like that. Okay, you will require lot amount of innovations each and every time you launch a product, okay, and you will have to keep on thinking, has competitor launched something I have to be matching? Now, I have to be launching something that competitor does not have, but then after some time, he will be matching it, okay. So, this is whatever happens in case of hyper competition, okay. Now, I'll read the question once more. Unigel pens recently entered into hyper competition market of ball and gel pens. The strategic focus of this company shall be on dash of dash advantages give me the four options please first one shot of windfall advantage that cannot be the answer it has to be advantages short term advantages temporary advantages that keep on coming okay windfall means one time might be okay no okay and windfall might mean actually a big advantage okay there'll be no big advantage okay so first second continuity of sustainable advantages 
Now, there cannot be a sustainable advantage in case of hyper competition. For a small example, somebody thinks, sir, I will launch a pen, okay, which is made of some material, which is cheaper than plastic also, sir. Okay. Now, the moment you will be launching, you might be thinking that you are the greatest person ever born on this earth. But the moment your product will go out in the market, competitors will also buy it. They will do reverse engineering. They will start to study what is the composition of the material and they will exactly try to be matching it. In fact, it's always shown that a person who launches a product second, not the first, not the innovator, is usually launching a product which is far better than the first guys. Okay, I'll give you one good example of this. Uh, General Motors or Ford, I exactly don't remember, around in the year 2002 were the first one to be launching the electric cars in the world. But it was not successful at all. And then when somebody thought I will be copying it, Mr. Tesla, okay, now uh, research further, whatever I said will make sense to you. So when Tesla had launched the electric cars, at that time they were far better than the cars that were launched before. They were not the innovators. Okay, I'll give you one other example. Uh, Apple in this world, most of the people think like, you know, they all launched the iPod that was the first music player in the world. No, a company called as SanDisk, whose memory cards are very famous. They were the first company in this world to be launching an MP3 player. Okay. And uh, then it was copied by Apple in a far better way. So again, one small thing that, you know, <clears throat> if you all think like, you know, that being the first one gives you an advantage. No. Okay. Because in case of hyper co competition, people will copy you in a better way. In fact, like, you know, so many products in India that you get are the first copy of the original products. And in some case, the first copy is far better than the bloody original copy also. Yeah. Okay. So this is one thing that you all should keep in mind. Uh, so first one is one shot of windfall advantage. No, it has to be series of small, small advantages. Second, continuity of sustainable advantage. There cannot be a sustainable advantage. Okay. In case of hyper competition. Okay. Then the third one, perfect mix of short term and long term advantage. To be very honest, there cannot be a long term advantage. Okay. You will never ever get a long term advantage. It is not possible. Example. Sir, I will launch a pen which is lighter than the feather also, sir. People will not realize also that like, you know, you are holding a pen. Now, there are two things that can happen. If customers will not realize you are holding a pen, that might become a drawback also. Customers might start to be putting the ads that this is a faltu thing. If you will not know only that you are holding it because it is so light. So even if it will fall, like, you know, then you will not be able to know only that it has fallen. That is one thing. Second, if competitors think that that advantage is very good, then in that case, uh, you can try. Uh, to the competitors will try to copy that thing as soon as possible. Okay. So somewhere or the other, it cannot be long term advantage. Okay. Because there'll be no long term advantages in case of hyper competition. Let's see the fourth one series of short term advantages. I think this fits into whatever description I'm giving you of hyper competition. I think so. This should be the correct answer. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. That is the correct answer. Okay. I say his explanation will be all surrounding that only. Okay. That's it from my side. You want to take advantage of, to be very honest, all these videos. Then one thing that you all should make it a point that whenever you see the video, please comment the correct answer. So therefore it stays in your record somewhere or the other, your brain will register it. It is very important. Even if it is wrong, okay, you try that. And once you know the correct answer, try to type the correct answer also. Believe me, after doing more than 150 questions, okay, more than 200 questions, automatically, like, you know, in exams, nothing will be appearing new, uh, new for you. So get that thing very clear. If you're spending time on watching these videos, you have to be making use of this. Do not waste your time just for the pleasure of the videos. You do not have your pleasure, but then try to learn also and try to register also for that this, this thing is required. By the way, this is the playlist that will take you uh, to a link of a playlist uh, that will take you to a playlist that has every possible MCQ that I have recorded so far of SCPM. So ensure to check it out and share it with your friends also. I'll see you all next time. Till then, take care. Smile. Bye.